<laughs> has to be about 67. I don't remember the day before yesterday. <laughs> you know, well, I just, I, okay, let me ask you this. How it's hard for me to fathom that you just didn't want a relief pitcher to pitch three complete games in a World Series. That is just uh, hard to believe that an athlete would do that. Well, you know, back in those days, and it sounds like it was like hundreds of years ago, is that you were, you were, you, you just didn't pitch and, and get out of a ball game. And your success was measured by the, how long you could pitch. And so we all would try to pitch nine innings, and that's the way they looked at it. Well, now the game is different. They have, uh, they got the middle man, they got a setup man, they got pitch five innings and it's some kind of they give you some kind of reward for pitching five innings and the game just wasn't played like that back then now you were always known for pitching inside I remember even growing up everybody talked about Bob Gibson and going inside and, and talk about that mentality of that entire plate was your plate well going inside means uh, a lot different than most people think they, they think going inside means you you hit guys and you do ah, you know I didn't hit many guys but I scared a lot of guys uh, and I pitched in off the plate. Uh, you have to pitch in off the plate because if you don't, the, the thing that is happening now in baseball where these hitters are diving out over the plate and they're hitting the ball that's on the outside corner and outside part of the plate, that's what you don't want them to do. And in order to keep them from doing that, you have to pitch inside. Well, now if you pitch inside, the umpire he screams at you, the fans scream at you, the player wants to come out and beat you up. And so they've changed the game to the point where you can't pitch inside. Well, I probably would go to jail because I would pitch inside. And the only way you can keep a guy from killing you is to pitch inside and then go away. Absolutely. Amen to that. And final question. Take me back to your no-hitter against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Final out, Willie Stargell was just one of the greatest hitters ever. What was that final ending like and then getting the final out against Willie Stargell? Well, uh, you know, I, I was pretty cool on the mound, and I, I never really got that excited about much. You know, I get a little angry about some things, but not not that excited. And uh, in that game, in the ninth inning, um, my my legs actually—I got two outs, and my legs actually shook a little bit. Oh yeah, I, I had that kind of emotion, which was unusual for me, and I didn't know what it was. You know, <laughs> what is this? And uh, I, I did—I got a little shaky out there. And then of course, uh, Stargell came up, and I, I got him out with a with a high slider inside. And that's why I like to pitch left-handers. And, and it was one of the greatest feelings that I ever had because I, I think the biggest thing is that when my, my legs start shaking and I didn't I never experienced that before, I go, Oh man, this is great. <laughs> you know, I thought it was wonderful, but I wouldn't want to go through that again. Thank you so much.